What's going on everybody? To see Kennedy 15 back with another let's build on the Mangrove City World. That is now the final name. And I have marked the final name in stone. Not necessarily using the stone block, but this is the final touch to the world. It's the name right across here. I added that off camera. I'm happy on how that turned out. Mangrove City. It's a it's a weird name, but I like it. It has a nice ring to it with all the building that is going on in this world. Speaking of building, today we are going to be doing a new Let's Build. The Let's Build we will be doing today is an Italian villa, Italian mansion, Italian house, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be Italian style. So as you can see, I've got two emerald blocks marked just randomly out here. That is going to resemble vineyards. If you don't know what vineyards are, those are the grapes that you use for wine. So basically I'm just going to jump right into this. This isn't going to be a hard let's build, it's just basically bringing up the walls and then putting in the windows and then bringing up the pillars and adding some leaves and putting a skinny roof on it. I should have this done in an hour to an hour and a half, not including furnishing. Speaking of furnishing, this guy right here, the King453, is hard at work furnishing the inside of my house, which is humongous. So big shout out to him because he has definitely been helping me out a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the dimensions. If you can kind of tell what the dimensions are right there, you can actually see the separated sandstone. So I'm just going to pause it right here for a split second so you guys can tell what the dimensions are because you can see the individual blocks. If I am correct, let me actually make this full screen. You can tell what the individual blocks are, so I'm just going to leave it here for another second. And the sides on the left and right hand side are stairs because I'm going to try something that I found out and it might look pretty cool it might look crap so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it oh one more quick tip basically every three or a, yeah every three blocks you're gonna want to put smooth sandstone around sandstone so as you can see I've got one right there three sandstone three sandstone and it alternates all the way around like that so that's how I want to kind of break up the textures. It's going to be using multiple different types of sandstone. So we're going to jump right into this. This is 11 tall if I'm correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It is 11 tall. We will not worry about the pillars right this second. The pillars are going to be uh, what we're going to work on towards the final stage of this build. So what I'm going to do for right now should take just a couple minutes is I'm just going to with correlating with whatever blocks at the bottom I'm just going to build up 11 blocks high with that block that should be about as close as you can get to the full wall done and then everything else is adding details in the roof and then oh yeah you got yourself a house my houses or my tutorials are very easy to follow so I actually forgot to break that up let's see one two that what we can do is do that and have double doors on either side I actually did not take that into account so I'm just gonna roll with what I just made there so right through here to upside down stair this and well, do I need that? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like that pillar, though. Hmm. Something real quick. Uh, definitely. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting in these episodes, so just stay tuned for that, because most of the time my Let's Builds are very easy to follow, so you should not have to worry about very much. Whoops. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to protrude this one out and this one give it a little bit of depth because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to add any windows right there well I don't know because we are going to be adding these pillars coming out what I'm going to do I don't need to worry about this detail right now so what I'm going to be doing is you just saw what I did with the details right here that is going to be that is going to be set in stone we will not be changing that 
So as you can see, that little design right there, that's going to be the front. Everything else is going to be made out of whatever materials that are, uh, the blocks correlate to. So this is going to be just regular sandstone because these blocks correlate. And then I'm just going to add smooth sandstone right here. Smooth sandstone will basically be taking all the corners, if you could guess. So that should be pretty self-explanatory, and it'll be taking up after every three blocks. So basically what you're going to do is all the walls that are actually not dotted, the, these are stairs, and those are going to be pillars, and those are going to be stairs. Don't worry about filling in the uh, walls up 11 with that, because that just look weird. So just like all the walls that are connected that you see right here, just bring up 11 blocks high. After we do that, we're going to start working on that. We might protrude it a couple blocks in, but for the most part, everything's uh, going to be staying. So once I am back, we're going to start working on the sides right there, get those finished. Hopefully we can put balconies out here and there. But As you can see, it might look kind of weird. We're going to add a lot of window designs and everything. So don't worry about that, so I will see you guys in Alright, I am back and I have brought up the walls 19 high, and as you can see I've been doing some exper experimentation around the, this side right here. I like the way this looks, um, so I'm going to duplicate this on this side. So basically both of these sides are going to be mirrored exactly the same. I might do a little bit more work on that, and then I'll start working on some window designs. But Usually when I do these builds, I just literally start recording and wing it. I usually get the layout and kind of get something pictured in my mind of what I want, but then after that it's just it's just go with the flow. So let me get some swiftness really quick. Basically right here you're going to want to go, it's basically going to be a 3x3 three three going all the way through. So yeah, and you can fill in those corners too, I suggest that. So I'm just going to bring a line right across here. Make sure it meets with this first block right here. Smooth stone, or smooth sandstone, I guess. Then we're going to do the regular sandstone, like so. Whoops, misplaced a block. And bring it across to here. So basically, it's just building a tiny wall. I don't know what these necessarily will be. I think like horse stables. But even though there aren't any horses in the game, <laughs> or they might be like little garden things, I'm not sure. And then we'll just add smooth sandstone, one more layer on top, like so. This is really easy to build, it just takes a couple seconds. And then you're going to want to put upside down stairs, like so. And then after that, oh, he's going to go ahead and do that too. Just add a line of uh, smooth sandstone. Well, he's just going to build up. What's he doing? <laughs> I'll just do it for the let's build really quick. I'm just doing it for the let's build. Let me just bring this back down so we have an idea of what we're doing. He had the right idea going on, but I don't want to get messed up really quick. So we're left with this for right now. What I want to do is starting from right, this, right here, I'm going to add a line of bricks, half slabs like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, let's see, where is it, a uh, full block of bricks. So this is the only time we're going to use full bricks. And we're going to add it like so. Then after that we're going to add a layer of half slabs. Add another layer. Whoops. Up again. And then we add this layer, we're going to add this final layer. We're going to leave that smooth sandstone pillar open so we can add a back wall. As you can see, I've got a back wall right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that up with... I need to bring it up on this side too. I'm just going to bring it up with sandstone all the way to the top. So after I do that, let's see. So just add it all the way to the top like so. 
shouldn't be too difficult. I'm going to do that on both sides really quick. After I do that, I think I will start working on some detailed windows because if I'm famous for anything, it's I, or if I'm good at anything, it's adding the detailed windows. I wouldn't say famous for anything because lots of people do the exact same thing that I do, but I just, I just like doing the, that because I usually start off with just a big old box and then I put windows on it that look really intricate and it looks really good. So let me just do an example wall really quick. This is probably going to be one of the more complex builds I have because it's already starting off out of my comfort zone, which which is fine. I have no problem with that. And then after that, I'm just going to add, hmm, let's stick with sandstone. I think, I think that'll be best. Yeah, and then I'm going to try to keep away from regular glowstone. I'm going to be using redstone lamps. Let me take out the map, put a redstone torch, it can go right there. So, let's see, no, that's not going to work. Well, this is going to be difficult, we might have to stick to, oh, I, I, can, I guess I can use glowstone in spots like here, but when it comes to outside lighting, we're definitely going to use redstone lamps. Sort it out. I need to drink swiftness again. I almost forgot. I can't even live without swiftness anymore because you get so used to being so fast and then it just slows down on you and you need it again. When it used to be the opposite. But you can always exchange that for another block. It's, it's your let's build. But for right now, I might I might switch it to birch wood in a little bit. I know the floor of this place is going to be birch wood because birch wood looks really good for Italian builds in this. So that looks alright. I am happy with the result of that. We're going to definitely add some windows right there. I'm going to build up the wall on this side as well. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding window designs and all of these to make it hopefully look really awesome. So I will be right back with you guys once I got I am now back after finding out, oh hi Nicole, she just joined the game. I am now back after finding out where I wanted to put all of the windows. So what I'm going to be doing right quick is I'm going to be showing you kind of the layout of the windows and I'm going to be showing you where I'm going to be putting these windows. So just right here, just to get this out of the way, I want to be breaking those two blocks. I'm going to be placing upside down stairs right here and regular stairs right here. And then proceeding to add a tiny window. Or two tiny windows, I guess. So basically the layout of these windows is very simple. All of these windows are going to be one block away from pillared quartz. They're all 3 by ones so don't worry about any other shape. They all have 3 by ones They're all going to be one block uh, away from the pillared quartz. There's going to be three blocks in between until the next one. So basically you should have one block on top right here, one block on the bottom here, a 3 by one window, three extra blocks, then you start the next window. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fly around really quick so you can see where the layout of the windows are. And let me get into this right here. Just like where you would add the 3x1 windows right here, do that so you would be breaking it like that. But add on the outside part upside down stairs because there's no need for a window right here if it just leads to right there. So you can kind of see what I did on this side as well. And so you can see right here that I just added the 3 by one windows like so like so right there I'm just gonna kinda skim across Hope, make sure you guys catch all the windows I've been doing oh whoop, forgot right here so 3 by one I'm gonna skip three blocks oops one two three skip three blocks up and so you can see the basic window design that I've got going on here now basically this window design is going to be a lot simpler than I thought because there's not really a way to make an intricate Italian villa design window if you're using sandstone. So what I'm going to be doing for a majority of these windows is I'm just going to be using spruce wood on the outside three blocks and then 
I will be adding an upside down stair. Let's see really quick. I just forgot this window also. Some flower pots out. Flower pots. And then get some cactus. 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 Where is cactus? I've never had to use it in this. In creative. So. I'm wondering where it is. Is cactus in here? Yeah, there it is. Good old cactus. So I'm just going to be doing that. And all these. You can always do different. You can always do different ones, but for the most part, I'm going to be doing that. And if you want to, which I think I will too, so I'm just going to add two upside down stairs like that to make a little bit more of a shelf. So it's going to be like this. Now you might be thinking it looks kind of bland and plain, but what we're going to be doing is to give you guys an idea, just go ahead and get some brick half slabs and wrap around the entire roof just one layer like so and if done correctly it should start coming together a little bit as you can see that little lip of the bricks makes it a little bit more intricate so what I want to be doing is I'm basically going to be taking all these windows adding the spruce wood on the sides and adding the shelving I don't have to put um, I don't necessarily have to put flower pot on each individual one, just a few, now and again. So what I'm going to be doing is throughout the entire building, I'm just going to be adding these basic window designs. And if you do them all correctly, and you bring this part around here, just bring it all the way around. Let me actually just go ahead and do this on camera so it's a little bit easier for you guys to understand what I'm doing that actually might look really cool yeah that actually looks cool I was wondering how that was gonna look it actually looks very nice so I'm gonna do that on this side as well just wrap it around I don't know what they're doing over there but I will let them do whatever they want to do just bring it like so I'm going to end it right there because I do have to add the pillars. I'll do the same on this side. And good gosh, there's actually a lot of roof. It's actually going to be a lot of fun doing this roof. I've always loved doing Italian villa roofs because they're so simple to do. After you work on a big slanted pointy roof like that for a while, you just want to use something subtle and like a modern house sometimes I don't even want to build another like traditional house because the roof is so painful but I love building modern houses because it's so easy to do so we got this wonderful little shape right here what I want to be doing is I want to be adding the spruce wood on all the sides like so you don't even need to add the shelves but I'm gonna add the shelves on all of them and then you can just go ahead and add some glass panes or glass. I'm going to be using glass panes because they'll look a little bit more sleek for the build. They won't look so big. They're working on cars. They're having fun. I'm going to let them do what they want to do. So what I want to do is after we work on, after I cut, because I'm going to cut the fill in the rest of these windows because that's not fun to watch on camera, I will sleep because it just started raining. And let's see, I should have rain. Ah man, the rain's probably going to be pretty loud, so let me get them to sleep if I can. That would be wonderful. One, two, three. Nah. There's no way I'm going to get them to sleep right now. I'm just going to leave the stuff right there. They're going to be watching, just making sure everything's all cool and everything. So what I'm going to be doing after I do this is I'm going to be working on these front pillars and these back pillars and hopefully making everything look a little bit more finished. So I will see you guys in just a second after I've added the window designs. Oh 
Alright, I am now back after building all of the freaking windows. That actually took a little bit longer than I thought, but not too long. They're still building a car, I don't know. It's going to be some kind of supercar, I guess. But what I'm going to be working on now... Oh, right before I forget, two things. I actually did take out the smooth pillars in the middle because I thought the whole side needed to be with smooth sandstone, just the corners needed to be smooth. Or, the whole thing in the middle need to be just regular sandstone while the corners need to be smooth so uh, if there should have been at the beginning of the video a smooth sandstone line right here just replace that with regular sandstone and I did that for mostly everything and I realized when I was building the windows I forgot to do the window designs right here let me just quickly go over here and show you what I did so basically one block from this window seal I just put in that, and then one, two, three, four, one, like that, and it should be even if I place this correctly on the other side. Yes, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in really quick, and then we're going to work to the front and the back. After the front and back, we can work on the roof. After that, we can put in some floors and then furnish it, and we will be all done. Now let's see if this thing's actually showing up in the map yet. hope it is. That'd be cool. Is it? Oh, it's going along on the map. It's going along. Still not there. We don't have a roof on it, so it comes from a complete bird's eye view. So if you have just walls put up, it's not gonna see that there's anything there on the map. So that's reasonable. Let me just put in these windows really quick. And as of now, I think this house is looking really, really cool. It's my first real. It's my first second story Italian villa, I'll have to say. I'm definitely going to have to add some detail in here, but other than that, we are good. So, these pillars that I had at the beginning, the smooth, then the chiseled smooth, smooth, chiseled smooth, smooth, chiseled smooth, you get the idea. Basically what I'm going to be doing is from right there I'm going to place an upside down half slab, a regular one, let me do it against the wall so it's a little bit easier. So, start from right here, make it easy. So we're going to be going just casually up like that, and if we are correct, it's going to hit the top of this glass pane, which is completely fine. Just go right over that, and we are going to just simply bring this across. I have, not, I have no idea what this looks like yet, so it might look completely crap. But I think it'll look good, so. And it's definitely needed at the front. So, that does not look bad. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. So I'm just going to put one extra over the line, and I'm just going to run over here, fill this. Or, no, I'm not going to fill that with birch wood. I'm going to fill that with sandstone for right now at this very moment. Put the doors right here. I'm correct. Now that actually looks really, really cool. I'm happy with that. And I'm actually for right here, I'm just going to simply put in some chisel. And that looks really cool, I like that a lot, especially with how the roof design is going to be. And let me actually try something, see if I actually like this. I actually do like that. So I want to do that on the other side. So underneath, just to add a little bit of detail, underneath each half slab of the little window seal, just add a chiseled quartz piece. You can't do it right there, so go you know, like that. And then in the middle block where there's nothing, just add another chisel. So, so, like so. Right there, we don't need to worry about it. That looks all fine. Fine and dandy. Chisel, chisel. We only have to worry about one layer, which is cool. So, 
Once I wrap this whole thing around, then we don't need to worry about it ever again. And if I'm correct, yeah, they're still working on that car, dang. They've been working on it for a while. I actually, speaking of that, I mean, it, has, it doesn't really, this is pretty irrelevant to that topic, but we need to start, I need to start working on putting in street lights down here. I have made a street light. And where is it? It's way down here, that's what I'll know. Here's the street light. And I need to put one about, just to remind myself, I need to put one about every 40 blocks. So, I think a map is about 840 blocks, so that's 22 street lights, if I'm correct, or something like that. So, this thing's actually coming along, along really well. I'm happy with how this is turning out. I kind of like how it's sloped up like that. That adds a little bit of character to it. Everything changes. I kind of like these two little pieces coming out there. I feel like I do, and I feel like I don't. I really could go either way. I'm going to leave them for now. Just because, but... Let's see. On the back. Let's work on the back a little bit. Back's going to be a little bit different. I say a little bit, I mean a lot of it. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these with smooth sandstone. Whoops. Oh no. Do I need to put grass? No, I do not. And let's see, just make sure my microphone's on. That would be awful if it wasn't. It is on, so we are we are rocking and rolling. So I'm gonna go two up. Chiseled, chiseled, chiseled. And two more up. So we got a wonderful little shape like so. Man, my inventory is just completely full. I'm just blowing through all this stuff. So down the stairs like so. Looks looks decent. Online. Here. Now, actually, now that I think about it, I think that just needs to be a pillar. I don't need to bring it all the way up. And then we can just chisel right in there and connect that. So make a small shape. Make some upside down. Half slabs, stiff them right there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not against that. It doesn't look too great, but I mean, definitely not against it. Now let's see if we can get away with doing this. Honestly, I would like to have kind of like a second level, and where the balcony is going to be in place. Yeah, I really like that. So. Can I get away with two things in a row? The ceiling's gonna be here. Let's see, let's mark this professionally. Just a random block. So the floor will be right here. We can always drop it down a couple la layers. Can we get away with like a railing right here? Or do we need to bring it up one? I mean, if that works, that's great. Because it honestly looks like it works. I'm really happy with that. Let's plan on doing that. Because that looks really good. So, let me drink some swiftness really quick. Put a layer. Just put a couple layers. Let's kind of just construct this back make it an actual shape. Let's bring this across right all the way over to here. Can we work with this? We indeed can. I'm liking the way this is looking. So for it's too low, I, I think. Honestly it's too low because I don't have a lot of space to work with down here. 
but I guess I can, yeah, I guess I can squeeze in some half slabs like so. So that's the ceiling, I'll just go to right here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that works. It can always be for decoration also, so. so nothing against that. And the thing is, if we have it at this level, the windows are going to be kind of messed up. I don't, really, I don't really want to raise it up anymore because it looks like it's hit the max amount of blocks that these pillars can go up and still look good. And they're pretty tall as it is, so. Let's work with... I need to just do a regular stair like that. Yeah. That's a really cool curved shape, actually. I'm definitely going to keep that. So, will this just be like a really open, an open area? Yeah. Well, now that I look at it like this, I could always bring... that around some sort of staircase leading right down here on either side kind of like a master bedroom type thing you know what I'm saying so yeah let's plan on doing that and then I could just probably get away with having a small balcony even though it is very long and this just make a wall behind it look at my cape blowing in the wind I don't know why I always have to go into third person every now and then but for some reason it just urges me to I urge myself to press it I don't know why I just like pressing it look, yeah let's actually keep that I'm touching the window and let's go up one more block and final product Looks too bland, let's add some windows for some design. Yeah, it looks way too bland. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but just, god, it's... Hmm, what can we do? We can start off by adding... chiseled stuff. Right in here. I don't even remember where I have that. Two blocks away. Right here. And we place that. And then, ooh, I can go down one. It's a cool dropping effect. I like that, like that. Let's start adding some leaves. You can always just spill leaves off the top to add texture. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a, I got a good idea. This is the center. That's the center block right there. Let us make a C or something. No, no, no. I got, a, I got an idea actually. Let's make, that's the center block. We could add a vertical window like this. I think that's one, two. No, it's good. I think. Nope. Let's add it one higher. Bring this up. Let's take a sip of this potion. 
add a nice vertical or whatever window like this. Yeah, horizontal window, my bad. My bad. And I just realized I'm gonna replace this with smooth sandstone. Like so. And replace this with spruce wood. Place an anvil right here, an anvil right here. Add some nice snow, not oak leaves. Let's go with birch. And bring that sky high. Like so. So that definitely looks a lot better, more detailed. I'm happy with that. Let's kind of spill some vines over the top. This just kind of make the shape even a little bit better. It's gonna it's gonna look better, but just for temporary purposes, kind of just spilling like spilling like so. Kind of bring a little bit more effect to the fact that it's a vineyard or an Italian house that happens to have a vineyard out front. Break that. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm really happy with that. It could definitely be a little bit better, but I am not going to complain because this is looking this is looking cool. So it's this little narrow gap leading out to this awesome balcony overlooking absolutely nothing. But what are you going to do? This is still a pretty freaking awesome balcony. And I'm going to, just for even more detail, I'm going to kind of alternate chiseled. Just kind of give it a nice old effect, I guess. And, oh, dang it. I flinched for a second. And broke that. Place that there. Place that there. And I feel like I should do the same thing here. I don't really like the smooth. It kind of breaks it up too much. Let us do something about that. So just a couple here and there. Yeah. I am liking this. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that. That looks good. If I get too into it, I'm going to... I'm just completely remodeling the thing. And I don't want that, so... Kind of like something. You go out there, kind of popping out at you. Just going to add that. And then we can add cactus. Where is this exactly going to be stationed? Perfect. And then we got the like three blocks of buffer space. And it's gonna show through, but we could always just cover up this this wall right here and work on stuff like that. So I'm gonna kinda of break this up so I can just work on the the brick wall or the brick ceiling. And oh, 16 seconds left. I'm gonna need to work on that. Let's see where the king is actually. And he's just kinda kind of chilling out by the car. He's actually sitting in it. Let's see what he's doing with this. I think he's making it automatic so it'll turn on and off. I have no idea really though. But let's just go out from the back here and see how it looks. That, I'm, I'm happy with how that curve looks. Definitely happy with that. So for right here, what are we doing? I'm just going to be filling in. I think I'm going to do a couple of these on camera. I think I'm just going to go through this roof on camera, since it is going to be a little bit tricky at some points. Then I can just add the floors and walls and furnishing. Ah, oh, I completely forgot about adding the different rooms. Oh man, that was a pain in the big mansion that I have over on the other side of the city. Just because it was... It, I'm, I'm bas That's basically my house that I live in on the server. I mean, I don't really live in it because I'm always building and stuff, but... You get what I mean, that that house is technically considered my property, even though everything is considered my property. But you get the point, that that's going to be my big house. And 
I wanted to go all out with it because it's my house and it's been about a month or so at least that I've been working on it and it's just now almost finished like furnishings and all because everything else just took forever so I like that I like that it's definitely come together I'm going to be putting a layer of bricks like this just kind of keep wrapping it around I don't know how high I want to go with it so that's why I'm keeping this on camera if this freezes I'm gonna lose a lot of work so I should should save it but it's on camera so I won't do that just yet I used to have auto save on but I decided to take that off because it got in the way of the videos when I did not need it to be saved so just decided to take it off completely because it would get in the way and I wouldn't like that but after I finish this roof what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of outdoor landscaping and after all that outdoor landscaping I'm basically just gonna call it an episode because I when I usually do let's builds I usually just show you the case of the house and let you guys do whatever you want to on the inside because I feel that's because I'm basically giving you a house to work on you need to put in some sort of inspiration of your own to make it your own creation because that's how it works nowadays so I feel like it should be raised one more let's do one more let's raise it up one more level and then after that we're just gonna cut it off and fill the rest in with brick and then we can actually see how big it is on the map and then I'll do a quick cut hopefully I'll add some big trees I'll definitely add big trees I want to add some vineyards out front I want to be adding maybe a little waterfall maybe a little pond something because we do have to take up the entirety of this lot and I'll show you how much space we have in this lot after we have the house you can kinda of see right here we have all this extra space we're definitely gonna add a driveway maybe some cars I'll let the king put them in and yeah after that it's gonna be just a matter of working on the outdoors and then let's see that's good I'm happy with that let's do the simple thing see I always go into third person randomly it's like my second sense I don't know why I do that and they usually just make these roofs completely flat I feel like they don't yeah I really I feel, I feel like they don't make these roofs completely flat I feel like they come to some sort of point if I am correct yeah they always do come to some kind of point there really isn't a point of this house let's just keep adding layers until we get to a central point that we can fill it in because there's only literally a couple more layers than that and that's gonna be the end of that and then I can just kinda top it off at one part make it look all pretty and everything but for the most part this I can work with that yeah I love how these things kind of protrude from the house also I said protrude a lot in this episode I don't know why so let's just keep building it up what is he working on over there is he making like a police car or something I, I don't even know um, I'm just gonna let him do his thing he's been working hard so anytime he wants to take a break it's fine Speaking of that, I mean, it's not like slave labor or anything, but speaking of that, if you do want to help out on the world, please leave me an Xbox Live message saying you want to help, because basically people will send me random, here's my gamer tag by the way, CK15, most of the time when people send me messages, they usually just send me a friend request and have no sort of information that they want to help, they'll just send me a random friend request and I... From now on, I won't accept random friend requests. If you want to help build on this world, make sure to send me a friend request 
and a message saying you want to help. So I actually know you heard about me from the YouTubes, the internet. And so that is when I will actually let you on the world. Most of the time it, it will be like filling in grass but or furnishing or something. But And I am back everyone after doing some minor tweakage on the house. If tweakage is even a word. I want to say it even though because I like the word. And here it is. As you can see, it has it had a lot of foliage added to it, a little pathway, and that's basically it. The way I keep these vines from staying in one line and uh, not growing all the way is I put string next to it so it stays in one line. Basically, I stop the roof at right here because if I did any more, it'd start to look like a regular traditional style roof, and I wanted to go for a nice sleek Italian roof. So that is that. I don't know if I went over the chiseled blocks right here, but that's a thing. Uh, just if I did not, just add them underneath the upside down stairs on that and in the middle block right there. Not too difficult. Add some basic foliage. I added some anvils with light gray carpet along the top, but you guys don't need to see that because that part is not needed. And I added some chimney stacks, which are also not needed, but here's the design for it. It's like four blocks, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, actually. And smooth sandstone, and then two more, and then upside down stairs right there, and then coffee cups on top. Or item or whatever, pot holders, that's what they are. Uh, nothing bigger, I'm back, I just added some more foliage, I should have added vines right there, but basically this is the entire house. If you are new to my channel, you know I don't like to do a lot of furnishing on the inside, I basically just sit, I basically just show you the shell and I let you guys go crazy because I, I feel that if you watch a tutorial, you're already copying enough, I mean I'm fine with tutorials because I love tutorials, but I want you guys to put your own spin on it and then send me some pictures of what you build on the inside and if it's good at furnishing I might contact you because I really need a lot of people to furnish on this world if you're interested please let me know and send me some pictures um, I think you can like share a video so just share a video or something to me about your furnishings or contact me about furnishing because I have a lot of buildings that need to be furnished like this one and then I still gotta work on the apartment back there but dang if you guys want to help furnish please contact me at ckennedy15 on xbox live I will always be on hopefully I, I really like playing this so I hope you guys enjoyed this little let's build I had a lot of fun hopefully I got a lot more ideas, well, I, not hopefully, I do have a lot more ideas for builds that I'm going to do and hopefully record today or sometime in the future, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.